First, let's start off easy. When throwing a smoke, you will see this little arrow in your HUD that will be green if you can place the smoke there and red if it won't be able to be placed there. This concept is how you know if a one-way smoke will be able to be placed. So if you want to know if you can place a one-way smoke at that location, you need to make sure the arrow is green or it will just fall down and become useless. A few good ways to use the omen one way is to fight for map control. An example you could use is a main on ascent. You can one way so that you can get free frags on someone peeking a main, or you can use it in post plants. For example, on seaside haven, you can one way the site so the enemy defusing won't be able to fake defuse and hold you because the smoke will block their vision. You can also use the flash teleport strat on an omen where you blind them and then teleport behind them to get some free frags. But since the flash is a near sight, you need to make sure you aren't teleporting close enough for them to see you or they might just get a free frag on you instead. You but before I get any deeper into today's video, I need to talk about today's sponsor, Eldorado.gg. If you ever wonder how smurfing content creators always have an unranked account for their next speedrun, they just buy ready for ranked accounts instead of hand leveling them. Eldorado is one of the largest digital item marketplaces where you can buy skins for cheap and Valorant points for cheap as well. And they even have Robux and V-Bucks if you're interested. They even have a trade shield to guarantee that you get a refund if a seller turns out to be a scammer. And they have 24-7 live support if you have a problem. They also have a trust pilot with almost a 5 star rating with 20,000 reviews. If you want to try it out, check out the link in the pinned comment or description. Now let's get right back to the video. You can also use your paranoia to flash an entire lane for your team when they are attempting to take the site. For example, if you are on sewers on split, you can flash all of A ramp for your jet to dash up and get some free frags on a blind player. You can also use the omen teleport to fake go through the teleport on bind, which will make a sound cue and possibly make the enemy team rotate. And for omens ultimate, you can grab the spike with it if your teammate dropped it on the opposite side of the site and possibly outplay your enemies. You can also use it to avoid a killjoy ultimate by ulting away and then cancelling it last second to catch the enemies off guard who think the site is clear. Alright guys, so if you're going B on sunset, first you're going to want to smoke the market entrance and then you're going to throw your other smoke for boba right here. After you do that, you're going to want to pull out your paranoia and flash this entire lane over here. So if you throw this flash, it'll blind anyone playing this close corner and anyone trying to peek on the left hand of sight. And if your team is going through mid to market, first you're gonna smoke top mid. But then what you're going to wanna do is stand towards here and flash the market area as your team is taking the site. So anyone holding this angle will be blind as your team is taking the space. Now, it takes are fairly simple. What you're going to do is you're going to just smoke ramp right here. And then after you smoke the ramp area, you're going to smoke on as well. And then usually what I'll do is I'll throw my flash right here so that anyone playing this area of the map or towards elbow will be completely blinded as my team takes the size. So for ascent on a site, first, we're going to smoke the tree door. And then after we smoke tree, we are going to go ahead and smoke heaven and then we are going to use our paranoia to blind this entire left lane to blind anyone playing gen or close left this will allow for your team to take sight easier as they can only play dice so for a b take what you're going to want to do is at the start of the round if you're going fast you're going to flash this entire lane flashing this lane will make it so anyone playing in b main or peeking this close angle will be blind and then after that just simply smoke the market door and then smoke on as well and your team should easily be able to take this site and this space pretty easy and if you're going mid typically what you're going to want to do is smoke either close mid arches or smoke cat one of the two it doesn't really matter just smoke this so that you can isolate one of the fights you know what i mean you can either smoke mid or you can smoke cat Whichever one you are going to do, if you smoke cat, you can fight mid or vice versa. Now, if you're taking A, the first thing you're going to want to smoke is the Shadows stairs traveling. angle so that they cannot see you as your team is coming up site. After that, simply just smoke the heaven area. And then what I'll typically do is I will flash this entire lane. This will make it so anyone playing on this side of site is blind. Alternatively, you could flash into tree for your team so that anyone coming through tree would also be blind for your teammates. And for B, it's very simple. All you have to do is smoke the link and smoke heaven. And then with your paranoia, you're going to flash the door area. So anyone attempting to peek this side will be blinded. C is also very simple. All you have to do is smoke spawn and smoke the waterfall area. Once you've smoked these two areas, you can use your flash to either smoke 
or to either flash the bend area or you can also use it to flash the close area i typically use it for bend so my team is actually able to scale out through the right side and left side of sight but it's personal preference another cool trick on lotus is early in the round you can actually throw this one-way smoke so your team can actually fight for c control right here so anyone on this side will not actually be able to see anything but you can see their feet get some easy frags defense as well if your team is fighting for a control what i'll typically do is flash the a main entrance to blind anyone trying to peek before the raise nade and then i'll just smoke off this entrance so that my team can have the entire a site map control all right guys so if you're going b on icebox it's fairly simple what you're going to want to do is smoke this snowman angle so they can't peek you from back here and then smoke the heaven angle you're also going to use your paranoia to flash bottom sight so that they can't peek your team from here as they are attempting to plant the spike a side is also fairly simple all you're going to want to do is smoke this lane so your team can cross without dying from screens and then you're going to want to smoke the heaven area i also typically will flash this entire lane to blind 410 and anyone playing back site. And just one bonus tip for Icebox, if you TP on top of this box on defense, you can actually have this off angle to see the B garage door from on top of yellow off spawn. And typically when people are coming out of garage, they're not gonna be aware of this angle. So they're gonna be clearing like this. And you can usually get some free frags because of it. So B takes are fairly simple. All you have to do is smoke the heaven area, smoke the spawn area off and then you can either use your flash to flash the site area or you could flash the back site area whichever you would prefer i typically throw this one so that my team can scale up here and clear back site but it's personal preference if your team's taking a you can smoke screens like this and then just smoke the heaven area as well and then you can throw this flash over here which will blind the entire map so anyone playing back site or towards elbow will definitely get blinded. Now two bonus tips for split. You can actually flash ramp from sewers for your team when you're on an A take as well. So you can throw it like this, just ping it and this will blind anyone trying to peek ramp early. And you can also go over to market if your team is taking mid. Uh, just smoke the ropes for your team obviously as they are going to take market or mid. And then ping the heaven. And just like that, you can throw this flash that'll blind anyone playing in B heaven as your team runs up mid. All right, guys. So for A site, you're going to want to smoke the left and right hand side of site. This allows for you not to be peaked from truck or triple and also allows for your team to split out of showers and take the map control. And then what you're going to do is you're going to combo your paranoia for U-Haul so that no one can peek your team U-Haul as they are running up short as well. Now for B, you have two options for how you want to use your paranoia in my opinion. The first good way is to flash from here into hookah. This will blind anyone playing inside of the hookah area so your team can get the space. Or alternatively, you can use a flash from long to flash the entire garden area. So anyone playing here will have to either fall back or get full blinded. And then simply on the B take, all you have to do is smoke elbow and smoke spawn. Again, it's very straightforward for this part. And finally for Breeze, do not play Omen. Play Viper or Harbor instead. 